I feel like a lot of us are realizing what home even is for the first time. I mean, for me, I've been on the road for 15 years or more. I don't even know. But I didn't have like a real close relationship with home until the pandemic. I had a baby, my wife did, two months before the pandemic, you know? So it all happened at the same time for me. So I'm like living a totally different world right now. And I like love it. I love it. It's crazy. So I like started playing professionally when I was 15. I come from a family of musicians. As I was getting ready for my first record to come out, they were looking for musicians who had never acted before to audition for different musicians that they needed for the Walk the Line movie about Johnny Cash. And they said, yo, you know, you kind of look like Elvis. Do you know any Elvis songs? And I grew up obsessed with Elvis. Those were all the first songs I learned. Did a bunch in the audition. And then I ended up playing Elvis and Walk the Line. Which kind of like, along with my record coming out right afterwards, set up this opportunity for me to do acting and music. So after Walk the Line, I was on a show called One Tree Hill for a really long time. And, and uh, I toured in between and did a um, couple other movies. And I uh, met my wife on a movie called Charlie Bartlett. But mostly kind of spent most of my time touring. That's like the main thing. I just toured and toured a lot. And then when this whole kind of pandemic happened and we lived in LA um, and we had a baby, we were like, you know what? Um, let's go out into like nature and just kind of chill in nature. But I was actually like, started getting really claustrophobic when the pandemic happened because I'd built such a cool fan situation around the last record and around touring so much. I was like, if I do a concert on my phone or on my laptop, isn't that gonna be awkward? As soon as I press record, I'm just gonna be a guy in a room by himself talking to his computer. And I'm used to playing off people. Like I'm used to like an energy. So this is gonna be so awkward. And I was really kind of like, I'll try one or two, but I don't know if I'm gonna dig it. And then something happened. As soon as I press record, I got this rush and I know there's people watching and you see all their names going and it felt like I was on stage and I'd be singing and playing and then I'd press stop streaming or whatever and it felt like I came off stage and I was like, whoa, I never would have guessed that there would actually be like this crazy rush from live streaming. And meanwhile, if you just watch from afar, I'm just literally a guy singing to himself on the computer, but there really is like a pump. That's why I feel like sometimes this is all some kind of cosmic thing where you get meant to be because I could have seen myself in two seconds being like, you know, I'm back on the road and you know, this is the way it is. Like dad's on tour and some kids have dads that do this. You have a dad that's on tour, you know? I, I could have just seen that being such an easy slope and, and justifying that narrative to myself and it made making total sense, you know? The last two years I've just been in one spot, but I've always been on the road, so I've been in hotels nonstop. I haven't done that much deep cleaning in my life. Like, have I cleaned a toilet? During this pandemic with no one around, I've owned my home and I'm a new dad. This is how dads become dads and know how to do dad stuff. If you would have told me on the road, hey man, instead of all these fans and cool restaurants every night and lights and whatever, attention and whatever, say you're gonna be like scrubbing toilets, picking up tiny, toys off the floor you know I'd be like oh that doesn't sound nearly as fun and yet I'm at such peace your home is now the purpose of your home is to make you the best version of yourself that you can be to go out in the world through zoom and do your job or whatever it is you know as opposed to like where's the best place you can find to live close enough to the job that you need to be commuting to every day you're gonna compromise you know but now Sky's the limit, you know, it's just crazy. We can move out into the middle of the woods. We could change our mind, move back to the city. You know, we can move anywhere and it doesn't matter what's happening in LA or New York. Um, that's cool. Somewhere that I call my own when I see you. I see you. 2018, I... I wrote this song for Megan, When I See You, I See Home. And so the song was literally about <laughs> our house, and then we turned it into something else, both literally with maybe some construction, but more so like energetically and spiritually. And like, we had like whole memories there and we had a kid there. It was just like, whoa, talk about when I see you, I see home. That's right. And now we're out in the woods, these woods, this river, this house, Megan and his baby. Let's go. This is my home. 
it's been really cool talking about home and um, my new relationship to home and uh, how it's been kind of affecting and inspiring me. And I thought it would be cool to bring you guys into my home to do some concerts together. And these aren't like fancy, shiny concerts. This is going to be super casual from some random corner of my house on my Instagram at Tyler Hilton. And um, I'm really stoked because uh, Freedom Mortgage is coming on to uh, do this project with me. And um, I think it's going to be a perfect fit to be talking about home and how tour has changed for me. And now it's here. So it'll be fun to have you guys over. Um, follow myself or Freedom Mortgage on Facebook or Instagram. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, at the concert. Thank you.